Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the auger drive cable on your snowblower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the belt cover. Pull the cover off. Now remove the bolts securing the front roller bracket. Use a 7 16 inch socket to remove the bolts securing the roller. Pull the bolt and roller off and set the bracket aside. Next, loosen the lower bolt securing the rear roller adjustment bracket and remove the upper bolt. Detach the bracket. Then unthread the roller mounting bolt and remove the bolt and roller. If still intact, detach the spring end of the old auger drive cable from the idler pulley bracket and the Z end from the handle lever. You're now ready to install the new auger drive cable. Attach the Z end of the new cable to the handle lever. Slide the rear cable roller onto the bolt. Thread the bolt into the adjustment bracket and tighten making sure the new cable is aligned on the roller first. Align the adjustment bracket on the frame. Replace the upper bolt and tighten both bolts to secure. Now hook the spring end of the cable on the idler pulley bracket. Slide the front roller onto the bolt. Thread the bolt into the front bracket and tighten, making sure the cable is aligned on the roller first. Reposition the front bracket on the frame and replace the mounting bolt to secure. Be aware you can adjust the tension on the new cable by repositioning the rear adjustment bracket. With the new cable installed, replace the belt cover and secure it with the mounting bolts. Reattach the spark plug wire and boot and your snowblower should be ready for use.